type in remote desktop make sure this is now turned on now head over to your account click on sign in options scroll down to additional settings and make sure the hello sign in is now turned off this will be important later on now search up terminal here you want to type in ip config scroll down to you see ipv4 address Write this down on a piece of paper or take a picture. Now we'll sign out. Head over to the sign in options and click the middle option. If you forgot your password or never made one, head over to Microsoft and sign in with the email you used on your computer. Then click on I forgot password and follow the steps. Signing in once with your password is important for when we try to connect our iPhone to the remote desktop. Now on your iPhone, go to the app store and search up remote desktop. It should look like this. Then download it. Now open the app and for this case, I'm going to remake this profile. Tap on the top right plus sign and select PC. And right here is where you'll input your IPv4 address that we got from the terminal. Once that's done, go to credentials and select add credentials. Here you'll input your email address and your password sign in for your computer. Once you've done that, you can head over to friendly name tab and create a display name for your profile. Now just tap on the profile and the connection should start. There we go. You can head over to the top middle of your screen and at the top left, you can choose between the cursor or touchscreen. That's how you use remote desktop with the iPhone. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more of our content. Thank you.